Welcome to June's Lead Code Challenge. Today's problem is invert binary tree. So invert a binary tree, that's all they give us. Here's an input of a binary search tree. One, two, three, four, six, seven, nine. You can see that it's sorted in order. And we want our output to uh, look like this. And you'll notice that it's sorted in descending order. So basically we just kind of flipped the binary tree to its opposite end, kind of mirroring it. And now it's sorted in the other way. So at first, this is kind of an intimidating problem, but it's actually a lot simpler than you think. Uh, so let's go to the whiteboard too, and I'll show you the intuition behind our solution. All right, so here's our binary tree that we begin with, and here's the binary tree that we want to end with. Notice that this is considered the inverted binary tree. Binary tree first is actually sorted in order, right? One, two, three, four, six, seven, nine. Uh, and the opposite is true for the for the inverted tree, it's going to be 9, 7, 6, 4, uh, 3, 2, 1. So initially I thought, well, maybe we can do a in-order traversal and go from left, no, to right, and create some sort of list to later um, traverse backwards and try to regenerate this output tree. But I quickly abandoned that because if we were to create like a list, say, like 1, 2, 3, or whatever, so on and so forth, how are we going to know where the root is? Because we have to build our new tree from the root. Um, and that quickly brought some problems, so that didn't work. So then I thought, all right, well, if we can do a pre-order traversal, at each node, what would be the action that would be needed to be taken to get this final output? And I quickly realized, well, how about if we just swap? Swap each individual children left from right to right to left. So let's start with like a pre-order and go down to one. Um, well, it's got no children, so swapping wouldn't really matter. Same with three, nothing happens there. What about two? Well, let's swap these, let's make them three and one. Okay, and now we move up to uh, seven. Uh, well, first six and nine, and nothing happens there. So what about seven? We'll swap these, and that's gonna be nine and six. Now we're going up to four, and let's swap these two. So it's gonna be seven, two, and these are gonna remember these are going to now be pointed here, 9, 6, 3, 1. So it's like 9, 6, 3, 1. And there we go. Now we're going to end with our output. So the key to these like binary search tree problems, like one of the first things you want to ask is, is there some action we can take at each tree in what order to get our final output? Now let's code out our solution. So the very first thing we want to do is write our uh, recursive helper method, and we'll just call that DFS and pass in a node. Now our base case is if not node, then we're just going to return and end our function. Otherwise, we want to call this that for search you know, on the left node and the right node, right? So uh, it's children. We'll call it DFS on node dot left and DFS on node dot right. So this is still a pre-order traversal and. What we want to do once we hit our node, we want to flip the children, right? We want to um, make left equal to right and right equal to left. So we can do that in Python by just saying node.right equals node.right and node.left. And that's going to end our uh, helper method. Now we'll call that on the root. And we'll just return our root. So let's make sure this works. Our answer does look like it's good, and submit that. And there we go, uh, nothing to it. Thank you.